Good morning everybody, how's it going? Irish Baker Abroad, Chris over here in Denmark once more and today we're going to do a simple yeasted loaf, a Vienna roll. Now I posted the finished bread the other day on Facebook and now I'm going to show you how to do it. This bread is very nice, moist, soft, fluffy and the kids are going to absolutely mill it, alright? So let's get down to business, here we go, Chris's Vienna roll. Right, so I want to enrich this dough a bit, so I'm going to add some milk, this is half half. Half water, half milk, and I'm after heating it up in the microwave for about 40 seconds. In you go. Got some fresh yeast. This is fresh yeast, but you can use dry as well. I'm going to stick all these amounts in the description under the YouTube video, okay? Flour, strong bread flour. In you go. Salt and sugar. Egg. And butter, 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 delicious. In you go. Right, got our mixer. Go. Got a dough hook. Boom. Right, mixing. We've got all our ingredients here. I'm gonna start off on a low speed. Once everything comes together, I'm gonna to put the speed up to medium and I'm gonna mix it then for another 13 minutes. 11 of those minutes will be on a medium speed and then I'm gonna finish it off two minutes on high speed. And that's it, done, go. All right, this has had about two minutes now. It's coming together nicely. It's still a bit sticky, don't worry about that. The flour, it's gonna absorb that water as the dough mixes throughout. Right, so we'll stick it on medium now for 11 minutes. This is gonna be savage. You can feel it. Okay, that was it on medium for 11 minutes, and now I'm gonna give it a final two on high speed. Two minutes, let's go. Okay, that's it, let's check it out. Nice and elastic, that's what you want. That's it, all right, I'm just gonna scrape down the side of the bowl. Bit of flour, just a bit. That's it. Now, we just wanna lightly shape this to a ball. Just pull the sides out like that. You just get the bottom of your hand underneath, see like that? Like that, we're just tightening it. Like that, and then you can use the top here, push down on it. So it's under and push down on it. Like that, nice and easy. Boom. Again, bit of flour. Bit of flour on top. Just a bit. We don't want it to dry out too much. Tea towel. And some plastic on top. I'm just going to leave that now for about a half an hour to 40 minutes until it doubles in size and then we're going to shape it around again and give it another 15 to 20 minutes. 
Now, this has had about 35 minutes and we're gonna do the exact same thing again. And the reason why we do this is, is that we need to strengthen this dough. We wanna create a bit of tension so it holds onto the gas generated by the yeast, which gets our bread to rise, okay? That's the simplest way to explain that. Up. Lovely, look at that. Loosening. Tiny bit of flour again. Knock the air out. Again, we take in the sides into the middle. Little stretch. Turning. Take the corners again into the middle. Bubble. Again. Turn it around. And again, with your hand underneath. Push down a bit. It's nice. Saves some nice strength there. Not too much because we don't want to break it. Okay. Just nicely trap that air inside. Like that. That's it. Okay, bit of flour again. A bit on top. Tito. Back. There you go. Leave that there now for another 15 to 20 minutes and we'll do the final shape, okay? Now, while this is rising here for these 15 minutes, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 250 degrees Celsius. Good rule of thumb, it's nice to do this about 45 minutes to an hour before you put the bread inside. You wanna get that oven nice and warm. Okay, I'm gonna be baking this on steel. This is a baking steel here. I think I got it for about 45, 50 euro. I'm sure you can get them anywhere. You can use this, or you can use a stone, or you can use a standard baking tray like I did in the sourdough bread video, okay? So check that out, there's some nice info there. I'll stick the link in the description. I'm gonna place this into the center of the oven. Once I stick that bread in, I'm gonna throw in some boiling hot water in the bottom of the oven to generate some steam. I'm gonna stick a cold tray over the bread, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna help to trap that steam around the bread. The heat that you get from the steel that's gonna give that a nice boost and it'll help the bread rise up to its full potential. Okay, those 15 minutes have passed. It's time to shape the bread. Let's do it. Right. Tiny bit of flour, right? Dusting, you're just dusting the surface. Now, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to shape a loaf of bread, all right? No fuss, no hassle. Stretch it out a little bit here. Just gonna lightly tap the air out. Done. Take the end here, and you're just rolling it in, look. Just like that. Slightly tighten it, and pull it back a little bit. Push. Duh. Get the corners in here as well, all right? You're just like doing that, pulling it back, pushing it forward, tightening it, like that, nice and easy, all right? Then the end here, you just use here the top of your hand, push down, you want to seal it. Like that. That's it. Boom. Just pinch the ends. And that's it. Done. I've got a tray here. This is gonna help me to slide the bread onto the baking steel or the standard oven tray. That's up to yourself, okay? Put it here. Put it on. There you go. Tea towel. Plastic. Right, and once that's close to double in size, we're gonna slice it open, not slice it open, we're gonna give it a few slices with a knife, and we're gonna stick it into the oven, get it baked, throw a bit of butter and jam on it, cup of coffee, happy days. Okay, I'm just about to throw this into the oven now, and the way I'm gonna bake this is, is that I'm gonna give it 10 minutes at 250 degrees Celsius, okay? We're gonna throw some steam in, we've got the tray on top, after 10 minutes, I'm gonna lower it down to 220 degrees. Once those 10 minutes are up, we're gonna remove both trays. We're gonna leave the bread inside, of course, 
and uh, we're going to give it another 15 minutes to get a bit of colour. And then I'm going to turn the oven off and we'll just leave it there for about 5 minutes. Get that crust nice and crackly. Snap, crackle, pop. Okay, got our bread. Risen lovely. Check it out. Knife. Okay. Do a few slits. Not too deep, okay? It's perfect. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Slide in. Try on top. Boiling water. Close. Okay, 10 minutes, then we're gonna lower it down to 220 degrees Celsius for another 10 minutes. Remove both trays, 15 minutes. Turn the oven off, five more minutes. Done. All right, that's been 20 minutes total, and now I'm gonna remove the two trays. Give it another 15 minutes, turn the oven off, five more minutes. Nice and crackly, okay? That's what we're after. Steam's coming out. Right. Really? Massive. 15 minutes and another five after with the oven off. That's the bread now. I'm just gonna turn the oven off and leave it there for about five minutes. All right, everybody, that's it. Beautiful Vienna roll. Lovely. Size of the thing. You can find all the details about this under the video on the YouTube channel. If you have any questions, just give me a shout, okay? That's it from me, Irish Baker Abroad, over in Denmark. See you after. Beautiful. Slaunch it. Up the dubs.